This is a message from your guides reading for the child. Okay, and I have my crystal here, Lapis Lazuli, and this is the second Patreon reading so far. This is the only crystal that I've had. Uh, so Lapis Lazuli has to do with the third eye and also the throat, so your willpower, um, your will to create, as well as your intuition, and that's, that's the throat chakra and the third eye. Um, so the, the throat chakra as well is a really intuitive, creative center, so it's really good for artists, and it's um, very emotional as well in that way, in the way of like creating in like an artistic kind of way, looking at things abstractly, um, but it also has to do with manifesting, it has to do with your willpower. Um, and it's definitely like a center for self, knowing yourself, because it's so much about expressing yourself, expressing who you are. And then we have the third eye. So this isn't just intuition and claircognizance and, you know, all of these things. It also has to do with clarity, clear thoughts. Um, having your mind clear of all that junk so that you're focused, you're um, enabled, you're empowered, you're in the present, you let go of the past, you look into the future without worrying about it, without projecting things onto it, you just feel that it's going to be okay, um, it's going to be a good, bright future. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about the crystal. And I'm going to go ahead and surround this in some protected space for the reading. Okay. Okay, so right away there's some energies that are kind of being broken up here above the, the head, so at the crown chakra. Kind of tackling that right away. And I feel like you're going to come into hearing from your guides more. Um, as that is cleared more. And I definitely see some ability with your hands. Like with healing. So healing. Empathy and also intuition and it feels like even intuition as to how to heal something and to kind of know in a sense what needs to be fixed or where to place your energies what kind of intents to have in order to to heal something it can also even be what chakras are, are out of balance So it's very much sensing things, sensing what needs to be healed. I feel like your healer abilities are really going to come up um, for this lifetime. Even with some things with career, but it doesn't really feel like traditional, like it doesn't feel exactly like energy healing exactly. In a sense, it does, but it just feels like there's a lot more to it than that. Like there's a lot more that you're going to be doing. And I don't feel like you're going to be doing something um, really structured when it comes to just the energy healing end of it. I don't feel like you're going to be doing something like Reiki um, where you learn some course, not that you don't take any kind of class or anything, but, but just where you're not limited to a certain way of doing things. Is I don't feel like your gift is, um, going to be as heightened, um, if you were to kind of limit it in that way. Like you have to do it this way or you have to do it that way. It doesn't really feel like that. Feels like you're going to be really intuitive with it, but again, this feels like it's only like one end of it. It feels like more things, but it does feel like eventually you're going to be moving into something more um, spiritually aligned when it comes to your, your career 
and what you're putting out for others um, but in the way of like you're you're receiving an exchange and you're grounded financially but it does feel like it's it's going to be spiritually based i don't know did they mention that before i'm not really sure or maybe you asked that question before but a lot of my um patreon specifically um nearly all of them actually not all of them but a lot of them a lot of the the um people that i've given weekly readings to it's like you're drawn to this kind of thing um getting this kind of guidance one-on-one -on -one all the time when you feel this calling to um, move in that direction yourself where you're giving that to others So a lot of my Patreon readings, <laughs> it, it feels like they're kind of moving into a spiritual direction when it comes to their career and things like that. But, you know, otherwise, why, why would, in some ways, why would they want to get such deep spiritual guidance um, if they don't want to explore it in some way or, or really do something with it? And again, not that everybody who's getting these, these specific you know, weekly readings has that career exactly, but still it's always people that really want to go within and they really want to explore something further um, and really come into a, a deeper connection with their guides and heal aspects of themselves. So a lot of people that have like a very spiritual calling in that way are, are drawn to these. And then other people who, for other reasons, they just really want to go deeper and look into things more. So the reason that your guides are bringing this up is because they're saying that there's a reason that you're so like drawn to having these readings all the time. And even, even before this, you were getting a lot of readings all the time from me. And so your your guides were communicating through me even your guides were communicating through me a lot but they're saying that there's this kind of bigger reason for that there's kind of a bigger picture for why you uh feel so drawn to to that type of thing and to receiving these messages all the time and it really has to do with you and what you're going to be putting out um in the future so they're saying to to keep that in mind but they're saying that all of these um, perspectives and angles and all of these kind of pieces that you've gathered um, that have kind of been formulating in your mind they're going to formulate into something more concrete in the future but you're going to kind of have your own spin on things as everybody does you know um, so you're not just going to be repeating everything in the same way as it came to you um, because you're the child, you know, you have your unique perspective and your unique take on things, but it does feel like it's going to be more spiritually based. So your guides are saying that it's really good that you're getting this guidance for, for something else. It's not just to, to clear things. And it would never really be about clearing things, obviously. If you're clearing something, it's so that you can move forward um, through something, push through something, see something clearly um, that you need to do, um, or see something clearly that's blocking you from doing something, from moving forward into whatever it is that you are meant to be experiencing in the future. So there is a, a bigger picture with this okay so that is the end of this reading that's all that your guides have to say for this week so i will see you in the next week for the next half hour namaste